Ah, oh, really nice sitting on this beautiful stone. Beautiful light in the background. Here it comes, here it comes. my gelly blanket today so I need to improvise how to camouflage myself photographing the dipper once again so the water level has decreased so I'm going to try to lay now the other way around uh, where I can come uh, much more closer to the water and lay a little bit more comfortable than the last time so uh, yeah let's just find my position now and and see how it all turned out So I needed to use my my rain cover for the track of plan blind, but that works okay. But the good thing is that the dipper is not too afraid of me, so um, I don't need to like be very good camouflaged, but only take away the scariest silhouette. But it's sitting right in front of me now. Only six, seven meters. Ah, really, really nice. The good thing is now it's uh, midday and full sun. So I got the dipper here in, in the shadowy area. Really, really nice to be back here with the dipper. So I am around ISO 800. I'm getting um, around a thousand of a second. And that should freeze in case it does something interesting with some action. But normally they don't demand too much shutter speed because they are not like the wagtails. It's more uh, a bird like standing still on stones. And But if it start to hunt for insect then, yeah. Maybe do a wing stretch, it's good to have a little bit uh, shutter speed as well. A lot of you asking me about uh, what type of focus uh, I'm using, and I'm using the center focus uh, with one point to, to focus and I have it on continuous uh, AFC on the Nikon, and therefore it's always focusing what I'm pressing my back button focus. Uh, and yeah, I found that it's really, really good for the birds.
Nice. Oh. It's so much activity. So when you are photographing on full sun, it's good to find a shadow place. And also you can get uh, a little bit uh, light on the background that creates really, really beautiful portraits. So you get some amazing colors in the background. And that is what I got now. And I had a different landing on two different stones which I hoped they would land and oh that was so nice so nice I cannot believe my luck today this is so so beautiful Oh, this was good, but my body cannot take this anymore, but my neck starts to hurt. I've been here for several hours now, but I had some really, really gorgeous moments with the Dipper. Got some beautiful images uh, that uh, I was hoping for with the bird in the shadow and uh, sun lighting up the background that creates really stunning portraits. So, I'm really good, happy for today and uh, this was really awesome. But now I'm going to go home and see a look at my images. And this weekend here I was up to work on my cottage and I heard from my cottage black grouse lacking and oh, that was really really good sound. So I cannot wait for next spring to go out there and see if I can find a place where they are lacking. That would be really, really awesome. I hadn't had a chance to go to um, Black Rouse Lake this year here, but I will take it next year, hopefully though. So, ah, this was amazing, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it as well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.